Hey you guys! Alright, so today is going to be basically a tutorial for um, a fall makeup look. And my beautiful model, Eden, is here. <laughs> she also has a YouTube channel. Alright, so we're going to get started. Um, basically, um, what type of skin do you have, Eden? I have oily skin. So because she is oily, we're going to use the Cover FX blurring primer. So I'm just gonna use um, my A Cosmetics brush and we're just gonna get started. So you wanna basically focus in the center of the face and work your way outwards. Next, we're going to take one of my favorite foundations of all time, you guys. Makeup Forever HD. Um, this one is an oldie, but a goodie. And just like the primer, we're going to base it in the center of the face, working our way outward. Okay, <laughs> next I'm going to, <laughs> we're going to take the Tarte Shake 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 Chin. You guys know the drill. And then this is where the magic happens. We're just gonna start buffing. All right. So I'm just gonna take um, the other side of the brush and I'm just gonna start buffing. So I like to kind of push and press downwards away from the face. And we're all good. Now that the canvas is perfected, what I like to do is just take a setting powder and we're gonna take the Cover FX, which is this one right here, their loose powder. And we're just going to let that set underneath the eyes or baking as you may call it. I'm going to start with the brows and we are going to use the um, Anastasia um, dip brow and blonde. So I'm just going to take um, a spoolie and just brush our eyebrow just to smooth everything out. So I'm just going to take this uh, angled brush by MAC. The easiest way to me is I just like to start from the bottom. I'm just going to shape them. She has an amazing shape already to the brows. Alright, so this is like literally one of my favorite products of all time. It's Gimme Brow by Benefit. Literally, you can put this in your brows without anything um, and just be about your day uh, because it actually adheres to your natural brow hairs. Now what I like to do now with that for me is just wipe off the translucent powder that we put there. And now we're just going to start bronzing. The easiest way is to do a three. So you're going to do a three and then a backwards three. That's the easiest way in my opinion to tell clients if they want to bronze on their own. And then if you want to contour, you're going to get more precise. Um, and we're going to use the Anastasia 
um, bronzer. It's in saddle. I love this. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to start, like I said, in a three. So we're just going to... Now, what I like to do is, um, to be more precise, I'm going to take this Morphe M437, which is a more precise brush. And what we're going to do with this, this is going to be your contour without having to do all the cream contours and stuff. So the easiest way to turn, so from the top of the ear, that's the easiest way for beginners. I always tell them that. Um, and just take whatever's left over and go around the jawline. Um, so we're just gonna follow that. So a little bit more precise, you wanna focus on the end and push backwards. You see what I'm saying? So that is going to create that um, contour, you know, a, a little bit more hollow. Then you're gonna take a, a more precise brush, you know, just a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe um, R37, and we're gonna do the same type of concept for the nose. So we're one, gonna start on the bottom. So basically, okay, a lot of people like to start like from the top. I like to start from the bottom because when you instantly um, like shade in from the bottom, like you can see a difference. And then I just, um, according to your nose shape, just bring it down by the top of your eyebrow. And then you can just bring in from the center. Okay, then we're gonna take um, the same Morphe brush and we're gonna use Melba. Easiest way, if you don't wanna go too heavy, smile. So we're just gonna kinda push it from the apple of the cheek upwards into the bronzer. So, literally, I mean, they did really good with this. It's my favorite highlighter right now. It's the Anastasia Ambreezy. I'm just gonna take that product swirl it, get a good amount, and we're gonna take the Smashbox, so chill. Um, this is a limited edition Farmer Water that they did with, um, who was it? Um, Nicole Concealia. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? It's the collab they did with her, yeah. So turn, and we're basically going to apply it to the top of the cheekbones. You Alrighty, now that we're done there, we're going to finish everything off. Just gonna let that sink in. That smells so good. For the eyes, for the fall, I just feel like this is the perfect palette, you guys. This is the Norvina palette. So first of all, I'm going to take just a fluffy brush. That's how I usually start any look that I do. Um, I'm gonna take this Morphe M441 brush and we are going to take the color Eccentric and tap that off. And I'm gonna start in the outer corner. And uh, remember that we already prepped because we did the concealer. 
So that was our primer, basically. And literally, Tarte Shape Tape holds amazing uh, when it comes to, you know, just uh, overall good primer. So I'm just gonna start in the outer corner and we're just gonna buff. This is going to be our um, base shade or transition shade, shade as some of you guys know it. All right, so that was our base shade. Then we're gonna go in with the color, um, is it incense? Is that how they pronounce it, incense? We're gonna take that one and we're just gonna go right on top of that. Um, but instead of going so far outwards, turn this one on me, or, Instead of going so far outwards, we're going to focus it just a little bit closer. So I'm going to, wherever you, you know, uh, put the brush down, that's where ultimately the majority of your product is going to hit. So we're going to lay it right there in the outer corner and slowly pick up the brush and work our way inwards. And as you build color, that's how everything flows together beautifully. I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is the Morphe R7. And I'm gonna go back in with the first shade that we use, which is um, Eccentric. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit and I'm gonna go back over it from the top. We're basically just building, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go in with um, the color Soul, which is a, a beautiful, it's like a purple blue. I don't even know how to describe it. Periwinkle. Periwinkle, that's it. That's not that's right. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with the Morphe uh, M44 brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. And then I'm going to, now I'm gonna get super focused. So just like we did prior, we're gonna do the same thing with this one, only we're going to um, basically shape the eye. So we're gonna start on the outer corner and just slowly buff our way inwards without going too heavy on the lid. Um, with an even more precise brush. This is the um, Morphe um, M158. And it's a little bit smaller, but it is a little bit more precise. And we're gonna take that um, volatile color and I'm just gonna go right on top of that. Outer corner, close to the lash line. And we're just intensifying. All right, so I'm just gonna take this Morphe uh, E18, it's a super precise brush, and I'm gonna take this color Passion. And we are going to, which is an amazing, like dark wine color. And I'm going to focus it outer corner, like I said. And we're gonna just shape, or follow our natural shape of what we did with the other ones, just to darken up a bit. I'm gonna take this rose gold to Press it on the lid. So we're we're gonna go in with the superhero liner. It's like okay, I'm done. Okay, um, literally this liner, guys. Like I've tried so many liners, and this is like my absolute favorite right now. It's by it Cosmetics. It's the superhero liner. So basically, open your eye, Eden. Um, the easiest way to do this is basically. Have them open their eye, or you open your eye if you're doing it yourself. Um, and I like to just follow the natural shape. So from there, we are going to just flick, close, and then connect it that way. You can go back in afterwards and clean it up with concealer, but that's the easiest way, turn, to basically have that outline. All right, close. And now you can fall. So then we're going to use um, this vintage liner. You can use any liner to smoke this out. Look up for me. Um, 
Okay, guys, so I went ahead and popped on her lashes. Um, close your eyes, Eden. So this is how they look with the lashes on. And then, of course, you want to blend everything in. This is the new NARS Climax uh, Mascara. <laughs> the name is, like, stupid, guys, but it's actually really good. And I'm just going to blend her lashes with the lashes that we just popped on. And the lashes that I used are by House of Lashes. Um, they are called knockouts. Now, so I'm going to smoke out um, the lower lash line. This makes a huge difference, you guys. Like, I already did the liner, and we're just gonna go in with the shadow. So we're gonna basically do the same steps. We're gonna take the same colors that we did on the lid, and what we're gonna do is just buff those into the lash line. Since this is a fall look, um, I want to do a dark lip. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Heathers. This is the only but a goodie. What I like to do is just close, spray everything down again, and voila! <laughs> that is the finished look. That is the fall makeup tutorial, you guys. Thank you, Eden, for being my beautiful model. Stunning. All right, girl, close your eyes. Rolling, 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 rolling. How many more shots until you're rolling? We just need face. It looks so good. Okay, we need to get some good pictures of you. Yes, what I like. 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 Yes,